Wizard-like, do you seek your destiny in these deplorable dungeons? If so, you may want to look elsewhere. Many have gone before you, and honestly, they've cleared out the place of all monsters, ne'er-do-wells, bandits, and every other sort of evil foe. Dungeons have seen better days, too. There's a lot of missing floors and key passages blocked off. You have to be a real wizard to make any progress in this sorry excuse for a dungeon. Download the game. WASD. Okay, so we have floors, walls, stairs. The right focus. You can go anywhere on the map. Deidre's awesome in static analysis, but Radari 2 is amazing at debugging. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and look at this in Ghidra. And I've I started actually with a function called entry. And so entry, this thing was not labeled, so I changed it to be main, because this libc start main is going to have a pointer to main. So there's main. And I looked at main and I was like, hmm, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So I then walked through all of these things that were labeled fun, whatever. So some of them I really couldn't find much. But others of them I relabeled, and I relabeled them all to these MCs. The first one I actually got was this check bound. So it looks like we have some sort of 100 by 100 thing. And if we don't go off the map and we don't find a space or a pound sign and it's going to set a variable and then we had something here which looked like it was clearing an array to zero something here that was looking like it was copying from one array to another but these were really interesting so it looked like we would check the bounds and then possibly subtract one it looked like here we were subtracting one from the x variable that we passed to check bounds we were subtracting one from the y variable we passed to check bounds here we're adding one to y, adding one to x, and we see that here in main, after we sort of initialize these arrays, we come down here, we get a character, if it's q, I look these all up at ascii-table.com, right, so q is this 51, and then We have so W A S D, which does what you'd expect, right? W subtracts one from Y, which is moving it up the screen. S is adding one to Y, moving it down the screen, A and D. And so this looks like this will be enough for us. So what I really want to look at now is this check bounds thing. So if this check bounds, we could change it so that we can walk through walls if we just change this pound and this space. So I've got hxd, which is going to let me edit the executable. And to find this, I just look at the bytes. I'm going to say, I'm going to start at the top of the file. I'm going to search for hex values. I'm going to search for these hex values. So 0f, b6, 0, 3c, 23743a. So I just looked at these hex values right here. And... So I'm supposed to be around 16, 18, and there I am, so that's great. So I want to change that 23. See, so 23 is a pound. So I'll change it to something unexpected, like 22. So there shouldn't be any quotation marks, so that should, should do it for me. So I change that to a 22. I come over here to this pound, which is at 1652, roughly. So that's around here. There's the space. I'm going to change that to 22. And just hit save. So now I've modified the game. And I'll just run it. Let's see what happens. So I can move around with these characters. You can see I can just walk through the whole maze and find the things that aren't there. So that really looks like Pico CTF Open Curly Brace. So that's great. So there's my Pico CTF Open Curly Brace. I go down the level, move around the map. All right, so it looks like U R underscore four underscore W. Z4R 
D underscore, what is that, wizard? It's like leet speak for wizard. I should start writing these down. So if I go back up a level, so we had that, it was just Pico CTF open curly brace, so that's good. So Pico CTF, open curly brace, U R underscore four underscore W, I think that's a one Z four R D underscore. Let's go down a level. Not it really. Just an eight. Character than F. Maybe a three? Maybe it's four. Maybe another eight. Oh. Okay, let's wander around this level a little bit. I don't know what that looks like. Oh wait, that looks like a four. Okay, four. Find the exit maybe. Oh, come on, where's the exit? Give me some slack. Oh, there it is. A. Let me find the exit here. the exit. See further. Whoa. I accidentally went back up a level. I guess I can't see through the walls. So close. Oh, 
I probably just need like one more character. Pause here. Okay, I spared you some amount of like searching, but it looks like we found this E closing curly brace. So if we just type all of that back in, we should have Pico CTF UR for to be one Z or RD. I don't know what this was. It was supposed to be like that character. Maybe it's like an 8 F4804 AE. Let's hope for the best. That is incorrect. Oh, I see. I mistyped for my notes. Your four wizard. Let's see if that's up to an 8. Okay, finally, there we go. Uh, 